Miami. Chance to tie it. Oh, that one's blocked by Xavier Cork. Two on one. The best fast break team in the country shows why. Yeah, they, they turn defense into offense. Five minutes gone by in the second half. Ten on the shot clock. Nelson, step back. Got it. Even with that wonky rotation. And his shoulders were square. Feet were square. It was a mismatch with Ray J. Davis on him. And they didn't, they didn't get the ball to him. And Ray J. just switched off of him. Nelson, step back off the window. That's nine for Jameer Nelson. Amazing that he barely had any. D1 offers. Like a wide open underneath. Oh, John Runa couldn't handle it. Now here comes the TCU fast break Woo! and an easy two with the flush from Peavy. And Peavy can help. In the fight to end children's cancer is going to be an even bigger legacy that he leaves long after his days are done. Uh, Jameer Nelson, by the way, out of parts of share the building, the Clippers, one of the hottest teams in the NBA. Off balance, tough shot by Jameer Nelson. Possession ball game coming up on three and a half to go. Nelson straight to the dish. That was a great job of the on TCU five for eight. Five on the shot clock for the Frogs. Nelson's got the mismatch that he wants. And he's got a hot hand, and that hot hand continues. They get 18. that switch. Rich, I mean, that, that's what we were just talking about. You get the switch and you go. Has gotten this switch, and you see the confidence in Nelson. He's not looking to pass the ball. He's looking to go through and finish. Here's Tennyson with four fouls. Nelson's been the best player in the second half for TCU. And he banks one in from the top of the key. 21 for Tied at 88. Nelson lost it, got it back, and it's good off the window. 24. Nelson with 10 to go. Miller hasn't been involved in this play at all. TCU down by one. Nelson can't put him up by one. He got his own miss. What a play. Number four, make a play, and he did. Five seconds to go. Here's Walter. Going to have to get it up. He stepped out of bounds. And Fred Smith says he stepped out of bounds. Baylor down by one, and they turn it over. And Scott Drew says, Micah Peavy trigger, triggers the inbounds. Players go flying. Nelson's got it. And a foul called with 1.4 left. Two Baylor bodies went sprawling on the floor. Two tenths of a second off the clock. Nelson hits the first. He Every has 29. Everybody goes back. A little token pressure by TCU here. Make sure they catch the ball in front of you. Don't let anybody get behind the back line of the defense. No timeouts for Baylor. They're going to have to go 94 feet to try to tie this game and send it to an unthinkable fourth overtime. They practice this every day. Here's Love. Almost sent it to quadruple overtime, but instead another heartbreaking defeat for the Baylor Bears. And the boos rain down in Foster Pavilion in the first triple overtime game in five years in the Big 12 and the first triple overtime win for TCU since 2009. The Horn Frogs somehow hold off the Baylor Bears 105-102. How about Jameer Nelson Jr.? I, I remember I said that the tougher team might end up winning this game and he made a tough play to get on the offensive glass after he missed the shot, to gather himself, get the offensive rebound, put it back in, then to go to the free throw line and take care of business to end this game. 30 points, most of them coming after halftime. Baylor licking their...